Hi, it's me, Hela. Um, so today, so today, um, I've actually wanted to talk about this for a while. Uh, but I'm gonna make, uh, cause I've never really made, like, a whole video about this. But I want to talk about feminism. Um, and I know that people either love it or hate it. Like, when they hear the word, they either just, like, are really excited and positive. Yeah, I love you. Or people are just like, no, I want nothing to do with it. Get away from me. Just get away from me. Um, leave. Like, whatever. Um, and just the word feminism has become, like, so, it's so powerful. Because people think that, you know, because of society or whatever, it has encrypted in our minds that feminism uh, means that you have to hate men, that, you know, all women hate men, they want nothing to do with them, all men are liars and cheaters or whatever, and that men should have more rights than men, and women should rule the world, and everything, blah, blah, blah. Um, no, that is not what feminism is, and it's time, you know, to clear that up, and feminism is, by definition, women and men having equal rights. That is all. It's that simple. No need to make it more complicated. Feminism has always been, and will always be, women and men having equal rights and opportunities. Um, equal pay, you know, equal rights in, like, women, in, like, authorities, like, the police, the government, whatever, um, sex crimes, abuse, domestic violence, um, and for men as well, we are also standing up for the men and saying that, you know, because they are always told to, like, men up and be strong and, and whatever, and, and that, you know, showing your vulnerability and your emotions is a weakness, um, but, like, I, like, we want people, like, we want the men to know that they don't have to feel ashamed, and it's, a, it actually shows the sign of strength, um, to talk about your feelings, to be vulnerable, to cry, um, that does not make you weak, that makes you a human being, it's a very human thing to do, and everyone should be allowed to do that and not be ashamed of it, men and women, everyone should be allowed to express their emotions and be vulnerable, and also men, um, just because they're not, like, physically carrying a child, it's still their child and they should have a say, you know, and, and also, like, paternity leave, like, I don't even think that exists in America, and mater maternity leave is, like, just a few weeks or something, here in Iceland it's six weeks, and men get paternity leave as well, and it's, like, I mean, even though things could be better here, but still, I consider America, anyway, but, like, that is what feminism is, and I feel like, like, and women especially are, like, afraid to consider themselves feminists because they think it ought to mean something like just a bunch of angry, bitter women just hating men and stuff, but that's not what it is, okay. Fem feminism is just, by definition, women and men having equal rights. That is it. Um, and also... I wanted to talk about, like, about feminism, like, like, and especially, like, in pop culture today and all these female, like, celebrities and, like, artists and stuff are, like, considering themselves feminists and opening up about that, talking about that and stuff, and all about, like, girl power and stuff, and that's all good and all that, but I feel like, like, there's so much, like, I feel like the main priority for them is just, like, like, s stop being slut-shaming and, like, free the nipple and, like, women being able to take off their clothes and show off their bodies and their booties and whatever, um, you know, just for them and not for, like, the men, uh, and just be, like, be sexual and all that stuff, embrace their sexuality, and that's all good, I mean, that's all good, although I don't think that you should have to have, you should have to, have to do that, like, um, and women are more than just their sexuality, and they're not just sexual objects, and stuff like that, but I think that's all good, and, like, I mean, slut-shaming, we have to get rid of that, and everything, but, like, 
but still there are more important things and like bigger things that I do feel that we need to talk about and raise awareness of. Like I was just reading, uh, if you remember like one of the rapes in India, it was in 2012, it happened on a bus and the women died. Um, and I was reading this very disturbing interview with the guy who was driving the bus. Uh, he said that he did not actually take part in the rape, but whether he did or didn't, like, he let it happen, and so he's just as guilty. Um, and I read a very disturbing interview with him where he said that basically it is the women's responsibility if they get raped, you know, because of going out late at night. It was like 9 p.m., I think, when she was out and they like picked her up on, on the bus um and like what they wear like how they act if they like go out partying go to bars drink whatever um and he said that they should just they shouldn't fight back and they should just let it happen they should just lay there and let the men do what they want to do with them and then <laughs> this lawyer i think it was his lawyer and he said that that men and women should not be friends and that a women's places in the kitchen and whatever blah 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 and that women are basically worthless and um and then he said like if like and that women should not be out alone or with strangers like later than 6 30 or 7 30 or something and he said that if his sister or his daughter or something did that then he would personally himself put petrol over her and lit her on fire in front of his friends and family and he would be proud of that like it was like a, just an honor his family's honor to do that and that is what this like culture is and like there and like the muslim culture and i'm not like trying to hate like all muslims and classifying them as just this one group but and i try to be like very open-minded when it comes to religion like i'm christian myself uh but I try to be like very open-minded when it comes to religion and but some of the things like in the Muslim culture and just just things like this like these are just things that I cannot and will not accept like just women being looked at as worthless and not even considered human beings and men just thinking they can do whatever the hell they want with them um, I just cannot accept that just as a human being I can't accept that uh, no matter what your religion is no matter where you're from um, and I think that we should raise awareness of things like this and we should talk about things like this and I mean of course in America and in Europe and everywhere you know things could be better and you know women you know don't have the same rights as men and, and everything but I feel like we still should be grateful that at least we're considered like human beings and we are allowed to do you know and we have the rights that we have like and like and just when there are women out there like in the world in parts of the world that are not even considered human beings that are considered worthless and i think you know we should just be grateful for that and i think that you know, talking about that is more important than like slut shaming and free the nipple and stuff, even though that's great, but but I still feel like, you know, like the main priority should not be like that, you know, it should be like things like this and the fact that women are just treated like they're a piece of garbage, like they're not even living beings, you know, and so that's you know basically I could talk about this a lot more but um yeah but anyway that's what I wanted to say and uh so thank you guys and please comment if you um yeah anyway bye uh, stay strong guys